Victor Green, John Wallace, world champion Jerry Cooney. Nice to see you, man. And you're watching Five Sack Sports. From former boxing champ Jerry Cooney, we got former NBA player John Wallace, former NFL safety Victor Green, and then me, Jared Ginsburg. So uh, what's it like for you guys uh, being here to support John Starks at his foundation's uh, golf class? We'll let Jerry go first. Hey, listen, you know, it's always, we get to get together, hang out together, tell the old stories, have some laughs, hang around with some good people, and raise money and awareness for a great cause. So, you know, we, we always like to come, we probably do about, I don't know about you guys, but I do like 40 a year. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's always good, you play a great golf course, great people, good food. What else you want, helping people? It's definitely a great time. You know, like you said, it's, uh, it's for a great cause, it's for a great foundation. And John Sark's a uh, really good friend of mine. And uh, he's, he's uh, the, one of the guys that when I first got to the NBA, he took me up under his wing. So I, I owe it to him to always come back for him. I just like playing golf, man, you know. <laughs> I like being in these environments, man. But John, you know, even from his days with the Knicks, he's always been a guy that gave back, man. And uh, just an honor to be him and be here and uh, just support what he's doing. Absolutely. John, what was it like playing with John Starks? What are some of your favorite memories? My, uh, my favorite John Starks memory is uh, him in practice and when him and uh, Van Gunn used to get into it a little bit. It was, it was uh, I can't say it obviously on the camera right now, but it was uh, definitely, uh, definitely made for TV. <laughs> now, John's a fiery guy. What was that like with, with the dunk over Jordan? Well, first of all, that play was just incredible. And... To go over, you know, three or four guys who are all bigger than him, and to do it with the left hand is just insane. That's why it's one of the uh, most epic plays in uh, MSG history. Any boxing matches for you uh, upcoming? <laughs> I'd like to get you in there. <laughs> I'll take I'm, I'm it easier. I'll take it easy on you, bro. I'll carry you. Nah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, only if you don't use hands. Yo, guys, you know you're here supporting the charity. Deal. Yeah. What you guys are up to these days? I run a youth yep. mentoring program called Winning Because I Tried in upstate New York with, uh, uh, I'd say about 500 kids are in my program right now. And uh, I run an AAU program. I have uh, eight kids in college, another six that went to college this past uh, August. So, uh, you know, that, that keeps me pretty busy along with my own kids. So. <laughs> How many is that? I got five kids. I like that, I like that. <laughs> now listen, I got a great life on Friday nights. I'm on Sirius and XM Radio from 7 to 9. It's called Friday Night, the fights with Randy Gordon and Jerry Cooney. And you know, I got a great life. I got young kids. I come and go as I please. I hate two words in my life. One is work, work and the other one is commitment. Aside from that, life is great, man. I'm, I'm living large. But speaking of commitment, you know, you think that uh, Pacquiao and, and Mayweather, you think Mayweather's committed to getting that fight done? You know, I, I, I think that Mayweather is a, is a great fighter. I think Mayweather beats him. But now I don't know him. I think he's afraid to lose the undefeated stature he has. And, I mean, the commission, is, they, they test you for all those things he's worried about. And so I, I can't figure out. He's such a great fighter. He's fought everybody. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And, you know, I'm losing interest in the fight. I think, I think that fight has to happen for boxing. Uh, obviously, I feel like Jerry, I, I think Mayweather would win the fight. Uh... I, I don't know what, what the holdup is. I don't uh, take a test a day before, two days before, whatever you got to do. I mean, that fight has to happen. It just has to happen. Well, let me show you a couple of things while we're here. <laughs> John, last question before we let you go, man. What about this lockout thing? You think there's something that's going to be an NBA season this year? Well, when I went through it, when I was playing in 98, 99, it lasted till January. So it's going to go at least wow. probably till January. Uh, I think the, the two sides are so far apart right now, but hopefully they can figure it out. I tell you what, you give me 30 minutes, and I, I, I come with it. I, 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 I uh, come up with a resolution. That's what I'm talking about right now. Be Find a way to make it happen. Too much money. To the, the fan interest is too high right now, and you, you can't lose that. So I mean, something's got to. They, they got to resolve something. It's got to happen. 